In this video clip, we will add a sink to the reaction editor. A sink is used to remove species from a unit, and this is sometimes used to remove gases from an atmospheric tank. In this project, I have a tank with a reaction that produces carbon dioxide. Sodium carbonate plus sulfuric acid is going to sodium sulfate plus carbon dioxide plus water. Instead of adding a vent to the unit, I'm going to add a sink to the reaction block to remove the carbon dioxide gas. So in the reaction block, if I click on the Edit RCT, I'll see the reaction editor, which currently has a source of oxygen, which is used for these first two reactions. And here I have my sodium carbonate plus sulfuric acid going to sodium sulfate plus carbon dioxide. So I'm going to add a sink now. So to do that, I click on the Add Other button. And I get this dialog box. But you can see I can no longer add a source because I've already added one, but I can add a sink or heat exchange. So I'm going to add a sink. I'll click on there and I'll say OK. This adds a sink at the bottom of the list. And I get this block down here where I can go and add my sinks. So I can use the autocomplete functionality and type in a species, or I can drag a species into this box. So if I use the autocomplete and I start typing CO2, and there's my CO2 gas, if I double click on that, it will add that species into the sink. I could add another species here if I wanted to, but I can only add one sink unit. And you will see up here in the species list, my carbon dioxide now has and minus next to it, which is telling me that's a sink. The oxygen has a plus, and that is a source. If I save this reaction editor and go back into my project, on my atmospheric leach tank, I now have this tab called sink, S-N-K. If I click on that, this will show me how much carbon dioxide will go out of the sink. So I must first solve my project. So I'll push solve. And you'll see that the sink now is throwing 0.15 tons per hour of carbon dioxide. It's basically throwing that away. It also calculates the amount of energy that's going to go out with that stream. I hope that helps you in seeing how you can use a sink in your project.